Everything behind me right now is the forest that I've been working to protect for the last 13 years. It's burning like this every day. And if you think our planet can survive this every day in the Amazon, you have another thing coming. The people that are burning the forest are, are Brazilians and, you know, are, are, or Peruvians or whatever, whatever country you're in across the Amazon, it's not the indigenous people. The indigenous tribes are, are for the most part, protecting their forests and it's these outside other citizens of these countries that are coming in and sort of invading indigenous lands. This is not just an Amazonian issue. Don't forget, we're losing forest in Indonesia. We're losing forest in New Guinea. We're losing forest in the Congo in Africa. It's all over the world. If if someone was to go into, you know, New York City and and destroy a building, they'd be in jail the rest of their lives. But we can go and destroy a river that sustains millions and millions of people, and a few guys get rich, and everyone else is made poor, and that's not considered a crime. So we need to update our software on how we think about these things because it's all wrong. This has to be systemic change. It has to be that, that we don't elect leaders without good environmental policy. That we no longer allow corporations to get rich while millions of people that are tied to the land get more poor. We have to, I mean, we have this power. We have the ability to stop this. That's the crazy thing is that at the end of the day, not cutting down trees isn't rocket science.